Okay, Walter, looks like you're bringing me into the 21st century here. Uh, what do we got? This is the Migna Magician X. It's a newer printer in their lineup. Kind of a more budget-friendly starter printer. I think the nice thing about this is that I was able to assemble it in about 10 minutes and I have my first print running uh, within 15 to 20 minutes of opening up the box. It comes in two parts. This base plate comes in the bottom. This is all one piece and this Z-axis comes completely intact. What happens is you basically open up the box. This slides in over these two brackets and it's just uh, two Allen bolts on either side and then one underneath. From there, you would turn on the machine, uh, load it with your material, insert the SD card slot that comes with it, and it's really easy to have a print up and running. The SD card slot does come with a few test prints for you to, to have the machine running to see how it's working. And I think the thing to mention with this printer is that it's got auto bed leveling, which is uh, an incredible feature to have uh, on a printer that's this price and this style. So really what that is, is you can go in and level the bed. The nozzle will go around and do 16 points on the bed and make sure you're completely level. And that's pretty much uh, what's gonna give you a good print. It's very important to have a level bed. Some printers that don't have this function, you'll have to go and slide a piece of paper under the nozzle and tweak little adjustments manually to get your bed level. The fact that this thing can do it quickly for you is a, a kind of a game changer. It's much more accurate too. So right now it's printing. You can tell it's pretty quiet. That's another thing I like about it too, it's an incredibly quiet machine. We're printing in PLA, that's probably the most common material people will print in. Uh, the nice thing is, is it's uh, cheap, it's very easy to, to print, um, the machines handle it really well, and it's the kind of thing that you can have running without uh, having to worry about any ventilation. Whereas another material like a ABS or um, others like that, you might have to have a enclosure over the machine and have some kind of ventilation. With this, you can have it running in the background. Um, and the nice thing about this machine is you don't really notice it once it's going because it's so quiet. So it's the kind of thing where you can set it up, uh, run your print, and then go do something else while this is kind of doing its thing. So I think one of the, the things for me was, I, I mean, just because I'm old school, I'm like, well, what do I need a 3D printer for in a wood shop? But right away, Walter printed this right here which is a fitting for my dust collection. So this goes over my four inch hose and it connects to my bandsaw. And, you know, I was pretty blown away by that. And that made me think of furniture design. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking of just like a bracket that could hold a dowel. And then you have a stool or a coffee table. Which is pretty wild, you know, to have a, a I think you could have a shelf or a stool um, where this is doing the majority of the work. And this stuff is pretty cheap. I mean, this is probably a $19, $20 roll of plastic and you can do many projects on one roll. But so what Walter's printing right now, another cool thing for the shop is a clip for my 18 gauge uh, port -a cable nail gun, which didn't come with a clip. Uh, my Kadex does have one and it's so convenient to be able to put your nail gun on your, or like kind of slip it into your pocket. And so I was telling Walter about that, and uh, he designed a few different um, models until kind of it was maybe like four or five different types until we got to exactly what uh, was the best functioning one. And uh, that's really, really a, a very cool thing to be able to just print for yourself, I think. It's cool that you can do it yourself and the fact that uh, you don't have to go to the store or, or like scour the internet for a part that might not exist. You can get on your computer and jump into uh, Fusion 360 or whatever software you like and kind of make things. And it, actually it's a lot more, uh, it's a lot more fun and, and rewarding to make something that works in your everyday workflow that's functional versus buying it, I think. Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and we'll let this thing finish printing. What do you think a, a print like this takes for, uh, like how much longer do you think this will print? Well actually you get an exact number when you splice it. This is about almost 10% of the way through. It's been printing for nine minutes and 28 seconds. I think that it'll probably go for another uh, hour and 10 minutes, which is a pretty uh, quick print. A lot of print, like this was, you know, this you're looking at probably eight, or eight and a half, close to nine hours, depending on the thickness of your walls and the, um, definition and your quality of uh, you know print you can adjust the quality to have things go quicker or slower so that's you know that's nice it's pretty quick versus something else it's also not a lot of material no so we'll go ahead fast forward and then i'll
put this on my nail gun. You can see how it works. And um, yeah, really, really cool. It's just pretty cool to watch it doing its thing right now. Okay, well we finished printing off one of the nail gun clips. There's another one printing right now. You can probably not even hear it. The machine's really quiet. And this thing's great. I, I really like having this nail gun clip. Another project Walter designed and uh, printed out is a charger hanger. Yeah, this goes on the back of a Makita 18 volt charger. This charging unit doesn't have any uh, feet or uh, like cleat system to go onto the wall. So this just, you remove the rubber feet and this snaps in and almost clips in. And then there's three uh, countersink holes where you can screw it in a wall and hang the charging unit. That's a nice tight fit. So yeah, I definitely think there's use for a 3D printer in the shop. I think that this is now going to live upstairs in the art studio because I don't want to get it covered with sawdust. Yeah, probably not a good idea. Cool. Well, that's, I guess, all we have to say about it. You want to add anything? Um, I think if you just want to get something that, that works out of the box, um, that's not going to be a headache. I think it's a, a great machine between the price point, the easy assembly, and the auto bed leveling. I think uh, it's, a, it's a good machine. I probably have a few hours of print time on it, so it'll be neat to see uh, how it holds up over the year. So maybe a recap like six months from now. Yeah. I'm sure we'll have printed some more things by then. So that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in guys and we'll see you next time. Wanna say the same thing? <laughs> <laughs>